Hello there, everyone. My name is Zayred. Wellstrom here. Back to dust. And, uh, we left off, I was level, what, 18? I think so. I'm level 27. Ah, yeah, it's right, th right there. After we get through the dialogue. Because the, uh, crazy old Cora. Because she, we discover that, uh, she is here because this is where she used to live. And, uh, her husband was a fucking traitor. Ooh. And in other story stuff. And I don't... I'm trying to remember. We gotta go... Like, get pieces to do something. There's like four places we gotta go. Or I had to go. More accurately, because it's still super cutted. Yeah, I, I did a lot of leveling. You look tired. Yeah, I've been at work last night. That's about it. But in all honesty, though, isn't that pretty much... Though, to be fair, I'm glad you leveled up because it's better to be safe than sorry. I just want to point out, I'm at 27. I still get fucked. Oh, God. Yeah. This game doesn't play. <laughs> like, the normal enemies don't joke around. They just rail your asshole. It's kind of like playing Symphony of the Night when, I mean, because I cheat, I, I'm not going to lie, I cheat when I play Castlevania Symphony of the Night because um there's a there's a there's something you can do. Gather up a bunch of healing items before you get to, I mean, and then have a, a wolf bite you. He'll send you flying so fucking far, you'll skip the room where you're supposed to meet death at. And if you make it, if you make it to this first save point safely, you'll have all your equipment. So you can basically just one shot everybody for the first couple of parts of the game. Damn. It's hard to do because you have to make sure you have enough healing items that you jump over that one one area and also the fact that the enemies don't kill you because they're strong enough to fucking end you. Damn. Yeah, the only thing, like... This is the hardest difficulty for those that don't remember because it's been a minute. But holy shit. Like, I literally got to the save point, and I think I spent three hours leveling. Whoa. I've spent a lot of time leveling. I was I was tempted to record, like, leveling things, but I decided, fuck it, I'm just not going to bother. Because it'd be so much footage. That would literally, I would stick in like a three hour session of leveling and then f speed it up so much that it takes like 20 seconds. <laughs> and I think I have a few clips of it where I contemplated it. I, or I may have deleted them. But it's literally just me in, sitting in one area killing shit, killing everything on the screen, zoning out, rezoning in, and then killing everything again. Just over and over and over and over again. Just constant grinding. Because the max level is like 60. I think. It, again, I haven't made that far. I, Fuck those. That thing that you saw right there? You can't oh. hit it with physical attacks. You can only kill it with magic. Mm -hmm. Ugh. And they have a shit ton of health. And by God, do they screech when you kill them? Just, just like the most blood curling screech you've ever heard. Ugh. It's great. It's atmosphere. No, I'm um, no. When you said that, it reminded me of um Super Metroid, and uh, the final boss is Mother Brain. And after she kills, and after the baby Metroid gives you like some of its life, <laughs> it gives you the hyper beam basically. Shoot you, and after that, you just point it right at that bitch and just kill her. Like, I think I'm going to one of the mansions. I think. I don't remember. This was like three or four places you gotta go. Oh, that's right, I need to, the bombs for that. Which I think I'm getting now or I don't remember in also his, in his defense he recorded this thing a fuck long time ago literally like six months ago 
almost. It was forever. Mm-hmm. Also, those brambles one shot you. Yeah. I just want to point that out really quick. Getting that chest is hard as shit, by the way. I've done it, but it's a it's a pain in the ass. Also, if those things touch the brambles, they blow up. Hmm. Fuck those, they one shot you too. Ugh. I would be I'm also I'm a bit annoyed by that. But also what I do have to qu- uh, question this, with the brambles, does it at least take it out? Oh fuck no, the brambles Damn it. are still there. Yeah, they're still there. They kill you, so you have to restart it. It would have been, oh man, it would be fucking worth it a bit if they, if they took it away for you. No, it, it does not re- remove them. In the slightest. Not a chance in hell, my friend. And I think I die like three times here. If I'm not mistaken. I believe I die a couple times. But I think the only funny thing is I actually did have to record a part like this recently. When I, um... I during my bad during one part of my Batman Arkham City playthrough, I think it's the one that just went up. I had I left the microphone off. Nice. And I'm just glad it pissed me off because it was do like one of the only sections you have to play as Catwoman. So you have no words for that? Huh? Yeah. What the hell is that? It's a ghost. <laughs> also, I like how it shows up, and you're like, okay, how do I fight that? And, uh, your sword basically says, you can't. You're fucked. Run. By the way, that attack one shot to you. Ugh. Yeah, so it's just run away. All you can do. So basically, the, uh, so basically that thing is like spike, uh, that thing is what, is what one spike looks like. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, he fucked me apart. So basically, that thing is what one spike looks like. To it's basically a walking, it's basically a walking, talking spike. If you were in the Mega Man games, oh yes. After you get so far, it stops following you. And you have to re-go through the level or the area. Is he still in there? Uh, no. But there's enemies that are gonna murder you. Uh. No, because uh, the only other thing that bothers me is it reminds me of, um, for those of you ever played Smash 4 on 3DS, in, um, the Subspace Embassy like place, there's, um, this one enemy who go, who's basically like that. Oh, yeah. Um, and he, and you can tell he's there because whatever happy, cheery Nintendo music you have is gonna be replaced with, da na 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 and it's the scary... I never thought I'd be that scared of that. Of a, I never thought I'd be that terrified of music. Yeah, I think I was going through my inventory, making sure I had shit on. I don't remember why I did that, but like, I just got the grip so you can climb on vines. <sighs> I will admit though, the only thing, the only game I don't look forward to recording for for post recordings whenever I get to seven, and it's only gonna be done on this channel because no. You talking about Mega Man Seven? No, Final Fantasy Seven. I can actually, I've actually never beaten Mega Man Seven. I've never beaten Final. I'm like twenty minutes into Final Fantasy Seven. I don't want to hear it. I've beaten Final Fantasy Seven one time, and that was a few years back. And again, we continue to talk about shit that's not the game we're playing. We really need to stop doing that. We're not going to. Like I think it just yeah it just ports me just the only the only time we've ever stayed on track with our game has been Shovel Knight and Sonic Mania. No, we were on track with Doom. Oh yeah, but spoiler alert, you just behind the curtains, we've been doing mass recordings where we record stuff for me to edit and we record stuff for Zay to edit. In case you want to watch Chase isn't doing that, well. Yeah, let's not talk about that. We had a uh, we had a playthrough for a certain game that we were gonna do. We were actually like halfway through it or almost done with it, and the footage got lost. The only part I have left is the very last one we recorded. So yeah, which without context is kind of funny as shit. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. 
The only, the only thing that pissed me off is I'm the only one who didn't play in that recording. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, there's three more places I gotta go. And then I think I cut a little bit here and there to make it go a little faster. Fuck this part. See those brambles? Instant death. Yeah. Try Mega Man 2 when almost every level has spikes in it. No, you have no idea. Like, there are some later parts, if I remember correctly. Fuck! Mm. Like, it's brutal. And I do my best to kill... And as you can see, I'm doing my best to kill everything as I pass it by. Because I need the experience. Like, badly. And I think there's something else up there. Or I don't remember. Hey, Slicers! Hey, they'll still one-shot you, by the way. Uh. Yeah. It does not play. I did so much farming in this fucking playthrough. This literally took me, like, months and months and months and months to do. Because I would just... Oh, God. That would That's right. Cool. I was, uh... Usually, they're supposed to one-shot you. I'm high enough. I'm so high... I'm, I'm, fuck it. You're higher, your level is higher than it's supposed to be right now, so I'm it doesn't so, one shot yeah, you. I'm so, over, I'm so over leveled, it's retarded. Because you're supposed to be around like level 18 or so when you, or like level 10 ish or so when you come through here. I'm like fucking 17 levels above that. Hmm. I'm so over leveled. And shit still kills me. Like, I don't think you can not be one-shot by that ghost. It's like when you go through Persona 5 again. I wouldn't know. I've still yet to play that. Though I do know what you're talking about when you like New Game Plus shit. Because I've done that. I yeah, I, re I regret Plus. doing that because I have my... I mean, I, have, I had my weapons. I had the end of the game equipped to them. Yeah, I did that with... Uh, Oh yeah, that thing spawns zombies, by the way. So it, spa so it basically says, Hey, you can't hit me, but I'm going to say something that can instantly kill you. Yeah. But I think I did started a new game for Persona 3, and it's the same thing. It's like a max level character, almost. <laughs> because I think my character was almost 99. And I have like a level 99... Messiah just fucking destroying shit. Like as soon as I get access to it, oh, I get the as soon as I get the compendium, like that game's destroyed <laughs> because it's literally by Messiah, then blast through the game like it's a joke because I already one shot shit with my main character. It's hilarious. Like bosses, all right. I have my, I still have my gear as well. Boop, dead. <laughs> it's like, just wow. Though I do also have to admit, one of the things I do want to get later on is like um an Elgato so that I can record in the Switch so I can record Bayonetta two. <laughs> Which actually, I did find out this. Apparently, the guy who created um, I mean, apparently the guy who created Bayonetta hates um that death battle between her and Dante. I wonder why. He created Dante too. Exactly. No, he hates it because he doesn't like seeing his characters. I think it was because he, Hideki Kimi doesn't like seeing his creations fight. Which, which, and the sad thing is, I kind of want Platinum and Capcom to come to some agreement so we can have a Devil May Cry Bane at a crossover. Hey, I'm dead. Damn. I told you. And I have to go through all that all over again. I think there's a funny part right here where I just fuck up royally. Yep. I think I do that like three times. Oh, man. Though I will admit, that's almost bad as like, um... Yep. I was playing through Uncharted once before, and... Oh! Yep. <laughs> and there's the cut. <laughs> 
I say I'm not gonna bother with the chest. Fuck it. Huh? Yeah, I had a lot of issues with this level. <laughs> it, uh... So like hey, me. I leveled up, by the way. <laughs> you saw me in most levels of Mega Man 2. Level 28. Woo! Almost halfway to max. Also, uh... Be very careful when, over, when uh, power leveling. Because it makes the bosses... Non existent. It's just gotta be so careful with over leveling. I don't know why I did that, by the way. Oh, that's right, I was doing that to try and blow the shit up. I think I was having, like, issues with my fingers. Hmm. I don't know why I'm doing half the shit I was doing. Yeah, fuck this part. Because look, the, brambles. I think I know the reasons why. Shit, shit, shit is right behind me. Well, I'm, I was trying to do it with a, a methodically because I knew there were parts where I'd have to destroy, like, pillars... And I was trying to keep him positioned so that I had enough time to blow up the pillars and then get out of the... the to, and then dodge his attacks. Yeah. Like, here's the beauty of uh, that thing summoning shit. You can regenerate your magic for Frisk. Or, fuck it, not Frisk, a fidget. <laughs> Got Undertale in your mind? Do what? Got Undertale in your mind? Shut up. With a f fidget by using com melee combos. So you have to, you basically expend all your magic killing it, and then it spawns shit for you to get magic back. So it's sort of nice. I'm kind of glad this game doesn't have fall damage. <sighs> I don't remember. It does. Does it? Or? No, because you just fell down from a, like a really tall height. Yeah, that's right. And nothing happened. That's actually one of the things I do love about... That's actually one of my favorite things about Odyssey. No fucking fall damage. Because I will never understand how the fuck Mario takes fall damage. You mean tell me that asshole can survive millions of feet... Falling down millions of feet as a baby. Yet of sing... But yet one... Yet one ladder length in... Um... Donkey Kong will kill his ass. Yeah, I don't know. I ain't got any... I don't have anything for that. I don't know what to tell you. But, yeah, he looked another one of those. Slice and, the motherfuckers. And, and, dead. Ugh. I have to, I had to redo the, that entire segment. Ugh. And, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, I passed it. No, I didn't. And, almost killed me. Fucking slicer. Two, three, four, five, six. Boop. Hey, look, it's right there. It's going to kill me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, this isn't, this isn't good. I was like, all right, I can just attack him from here. Barely. It'd be fine. Now you know how Luke Skywalker felt. Yeah. There's no Darth Vader to save your ass, though. Boop. And more ghosts. And jump cut. Huh? Almost level 29. And look at all that fucking money. What is that? 40... 41,000 gold? Look at all that money. Wow, you saw the thing right before I had a fucking chance. Yeah, there's a lot of slimes in this area, too. And they one-shot you. Like, I can kill them really quick. Because of my... A little bit of my gear and my level. 
But they still one shot my ass, if I'm not mistaken. Ugh. And bombs, bombs. That one has like a three second timer. Oh. It is retarded. Then I gotta get this one, which is like a 20 second timer. Over there? Yeah, that one. Yeah, you managed to get both. Well, I need it for that one. Because you can get the three second one all the way over to the first one, you can't make it to the second one. Because I grabbed that one too, and it makes it right there, and then it blows up right there. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just, I am actually kind of glad the fact they don't blow each other up. That's nice, yeah. If they did, I would slit my throat. To whoever created this game, and if you somehow managed to find this, please don't add it in the feature in the next game. Don't, don't do that, because I'll, I will legitimately slit my throat and then send it to you. And all the way down. Yeah, I just sent him a copy of 06. Ooh. Know my pain, fucker. Like, that was part of the shit I would do. And then all the way down. This was a good farming area. Just a massive amount of enemies in one spot to kill. I think there's like 30 enemies in this area. And 20 of them are right there. <laughs> now I just melted them. Because, like, being overleveled feels really good in this game. Especially in the harder difficulties. Because you go back to where enemies were just Giving you shit and you can now just go, ah! Oh, hey, motherfucker! Yeah, it's like, you were melting my ass. Now I'm gonna melt you. Have fun. And just, oh, it was so good. And breaking pillars... Or just be like, bitch this, is, bitch, this is pretty much World War Hulk and you're fucking Tony Stark. Right? No, um, to those who don't know, World War Hulk is basically a, it's a pretty, it's a damn good story. Where the Hulk is basically a, he, I mean, basically is taking down the world, I mean, um, Doctor Strange, Mr. Fantastic, um, Black Bolt, and everyone else in the Illuminati. Also, fuck this part. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. It took me a little bit to figure that out my first time. The only... <laughs> I'm running away from the slime. I, I was like so scared of those things. You have no idea. I almost died. Like that dodge comes so in handy. You have no idea. Don't be like Gohan. Learn to dodge. Right? That's still my favorite Team 4 Star joke ever. It's just a lot of dodging, a lot of killing. I'm gonna level up in a little second. You just described my week with Devil May Cry in a nutshell. Great. Well, DMC three. If you go, if you if you think DMC one's the best, good on you. You think DMC two is the best? What the fuck are you smoking? <laughs> think DMC three is the best? I can't I can't argue with you. I still four is the four is still my favorite. Most because I like Nero. Who, I kind of wish he was in Marvel's Capcom Infinite for the sole purpose of. Johnny Young Boss gets more money. Eh. Motherfuckers everywhere anyway. Yeah. Kind of pissed me off a bit because I remember like in 8th grade I, I, I got tired of Power Rangers because I, I don't know why. I just didn't, after Operation Overdrive I just stopped watching it. Which meant I missed Jungle Fury and RPM which pisses me off nowadays. Eh. And it also... 
it all. And I was just like, okay, I'm not doing anything else involving Power Rangers. I went to go back and play Sonic Unleashed. Forgot about the giant ass Megazord. Went to play Marvelous Capcom 3. Zero is voiced by um. Zero is voiced by um Johnny Young Bosch. And if I watch JoJo back, then I'll be more kind of messed up because Johnny, I mean, um, Joseph Joestar, the first JoJo, is voiced by John Young Bosch. Also, a neat trick that a uh, spin attack sucks in all the items that are nearby. It just sucks them to you. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Got an easy way to get them all up. Now I gotta go. What am I doing? I don't. I don't remember. Like I haven't touched this game in so long. Welcome to my world. Whenever I get a recording of Andromeda. All I remember about this game is melting shit towards the end of the game. We're about to find a boss. Melted the fuck out of him. That's fucked up! Well, how it's designed, it seems threatening, but it's not. You're perfectly safe in there. Oh, okay. Like, the brambles can't touch you. It's like, um, there's this video I saw where in Yoshi's Island, there's, um, with the spikes that instantly kill Yoshi. There was on these two enemies that were bouncing him back and forward between the spikes. That's terrifying. And I, I will always burn you. Also, uh, a lot of farming in this area just for items. Also, <laughs> cause the uh, that blue skull I sold earlier. I think it's a lost soul or something. I needed like 40 of those. It's insane. Just to make I think gear. you just leveled up again. I leveled up earlier. I'm level 29. I was wondering because I, I saw a white flash. I'll never forget that. Talk to someone. Eat, get You instantly level up. Bam, 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 mansion. I don't remember what's behind those things. Ugh. Tired. Yeah, I gotta get a bomb. If I can learn to fucking platform, apparently. But there's just a lot of, uh... Oh, we'll be doing more of that in Doom. Yeah. Because, uh, again, just a little time date on when we're doing... How late we're doing this. We just finished recording the last episode of Shantae. Like, not even an hour ago. Yeah. And we talked about backtracking in that game this game has a lot of backtracking too but you're not seeing it I mean you're not we we did that one mostly we did that we did that one I did that he did that one while I was here so we basically were going through it at the same time unlike this one where this was done months ago yeah well not only that uh, this Shantae treats backtracking differently than this game does in this game you need to backtrack to level and to form items which is optional. Shantae makes it mandatory. Yeah, the backtracking in Shantae is mandatory. With this one, it's really well done, the backtracking. Because you need you backtrack for one of three reasons. Number one, you fucking miss something because you're dumb. Number two, you want to get like certain items for collectibles or things like that. Three is leveling and forming for gear. That's it. Mm. And they're all, like, really good stuff. They're, like, good reasons to backtrack. Kind of like an, um... 
In Symphony of the Night, there are reasons why you can backtrack, but it's mostly because you need a certain, I mean, a certain item. Like, um, there's a place near the very beginning of the game that you can't reach yet. Yeah. Like, Things like that are really nice. Like, there's a couple places where you need the vine, the, the iron grip, that allows you to climb the vines to get certain items. But none of it's, like, in-game stuff. It's all, like, optional shit. The only one I think you, in um, Civil Night, the only one I think you need to get is, um, you need to get the bat transformation and the bat sonar. And that's because you need that in order to get to the next area. I mean, um, well, you technically don't need it because you can just go through the bat ending if you want to and just get it that way and kill Richter. Yeah. Or you can take your dad on. Yeah, that's just really nice. Hey, look, those are still lethal. Pop. Pop. I don't remember what level I end this one, this part with. Because it's literally like, stop, power level to living hell. And then I started recording again. Yeah, I can understand that. That actually does kind of. That kind of makes me feel like Street Fighter Five because I'm I'm trying to level up Miss I'm trying to level up my character in there, but I can't do it because I suck at that game. <laughs> yeah, I I have no shame in admitting that. I'm decent. I got decent at this game. I'm, I have no shame in I'm bad at Street Fighter 5 because I've always been bad at Street Fighter. I've been bad at Mortal Kombat until MK9 and then MKX and then Injustice 2 happened. And thus, every time I'm not editing or recording at home, I'm playing that shit. Run from the slime. Run out should be getting impaled. Well, I melt him fairly quickly, but I, I still was afraid of him. Because of that... And those. Ugh. And there's like three of those in this area. Simply because I know they could one-shot me, so I was afraid. Yeah, I don't blame you. There's two. Oh! Almost killed me. I finally out-leveled it, so it couldn't one-shot my ass, but it came close. I can only imagine the fact that later on you'll just come back here just to fucking kill one. I did, I think. Because <laughs> I believe I platinum this game. I think so? It's kind of like, um... I can't remember the Final Fantasy game. I mean, those Final Fantasy enemies. What's the name of the ones with the lantern and the little knives? Tonberries. Fuck those guys. Yeah, you can't kill them. They just fuck you can. You up. Huh? In 9, you can. It I takes mean, not for, You can kill them in every Final Fantasy... It takes for fucking ever, though. I know. I, I killed one of them just for fun, and I just used nice of the round. Hey, I'm dead. Oh, God. Which, I, I love that ability. That's how I beat Sephiroth. That's how everyone fucking beats Sephiroth. Also, fun fact. The, uh, Tonberries exist in 15. And they have lightsabers. I'm not kidding you. I don't know what to say to that. That's both cool and terrifying at the They're same time. They're fucking Jedi Tonberries. It's hilarious. They're all little fucking Yodas. Also, we need a, Also, we do need... I want to see a Star Wars World in Kingdom Hearts. Just to see what the hell it'll look like. Let's not do that. Why not? We already have Star Wars like weapons in Kingdom Hearts too. Yeah, let's not do that. Because... I don't... I like Kingdom Hearts... I don't want them to stop making it because they had riots. Hmm. <laughs> like, legitimately. I don't... I, I want to keep playing it. Hey, I got 30. Same here. I I, I sadly own both collections. And I kind of wish I waited because they had, a, they had a, a pack with both of them in there now. With both sets of collections in there. Psh. Oh, shit. That also does remind me. We need to... We still need to riff on um, Kingdom Hearts... Um, on the um, on the ones that are just um dip, I mean um, are just um cutscenes in the HD remakes. What do you mean rip? Huh? Riff on them. Oh, well, like depending on which one it is, like if it's uh like three fifty eight recoded. It's um I think it's um it's recoded and um three five eight days over two. Yeah, three fifty eight over two, like three fifty eight over two. 
I'd have nothing bad to say about that because I own the DS game and I played it and it's fucking incredible. Recoded, I would probably just make fun of the game because it has no consequences in the lore. Only one part of it does this at the very end. So you can pretty much just watch the final cutscene and you'll get all the end game info you'll need. That reminds me, because we're talking about not this game still, let's continue to not talk about this game. Have you seen Back Cover? Not yet. You gotta watch it, dude. It's like an hour long. And it effectively is the entire story of the MMO Kingdom Hearts game they made. And it's about the Keyblade War. Oh, yeah. I, no. Crap, I knew this and I forgot because it's on the. Um, there's an Ace, the. Um, it's, I know where it is because it's on my it's PS. It's on one of the collections. Yeah, I, I actually own the one it's on. It's the one that has on Birth by Sleep. Um, not Birth by Sleep, but Dream Drop Distance. Yeah. It's. I watched it the other day, like a week ago or so. Oh my Jesus, it changes everything. Like, it legitimately changes everything. Speaking of which, I gotta ask, what is your favorite Kingdom Hearts game? Oh! Uh, that's a tough one. Ooh. I got fucking annihilated there. For me, it's the top 22 in Birth by Sleep. With yeah. Aqua, Aqua, especially Aqua's campaign. Oh no, I just really like Aqua. For me, it's a tie between Birth by Sleep... And probably 358 over 2. Just because it was so good. Because, like, Birth by Sleep is a phenomenal game. It, the lore that you... That it just... It's... It's kind of like how I say with Bat Cover. Like, you play Birth by Sleep and you're like, this changes everything. Like, what the fuck? Really, man? Because you watch back cover and it's literally like, how does this... And then as you start progressing through the story, you're like, wait, wait a minute. I think it's also because um, oh, Birth by no. Sleep kind of... A, Birth by Sleep mostly kicks you in the dick over and over again. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like it's kind of like um, the beginning of Kingdom Hearts too. Only it doesn't take that. Only it doesn't feel like it takes that long. Well, back cover effectively takes everything you thought about certain characters and the purposes of certain plot lines, and goes, "Hey, guess what? You're wrong." It's just fucking incredible, and there's so many theories running around about it. Because it's actually quite old by now. It's, but it's still the newest thing we've gotten lore-wise. Because I've been meaning to check out SM... Uh, I think his name is SMK. He's one of the dudes who I watch who does a bunch of the theory videos on it. In fact, he was the first one to point out... I mean, who was talking about the whole um, Link is Dead theory. But, like... Last thing, so we can actually get back to the game we're watching me play in the past... You gotta watch it, dude. It's so good, and it literally takes everything and spins it on its head. <laughs> like, there's, so, like, especially one character in particular. And one Keyblade in particular. Just makes you go, wait, what? That's no fucking way. It's so good. And it also, like, does a, uh, a nice little tease as to who the real villain is. And, uh, it's interesting, to say the least. And it also lends to a bit of lore to Organization 13 as well. So it's, like, really good. And I think this is where the old coot's telling us about her husband. <sighs> Still tired. I'm taking a nap later. Damn. 
But uh, I think she's just telling us all about this and that, and then the bosses should be after this. Should be. Because I think that was all the parts I needed, all the pieces of the puzzle. Yeah, that kind of reminds me of, um, and just because I'm playing the game Arkham City. Do the, I mean, go here. Okay, you can't go there yet. Find this thing. Okay, now you got that. Do that. What's, you need to have something else you need to do. Like, um, in order to get, um, to freeze, you have to go to, I mean, um, go to where he originally was, find out he's not there anymore, then go and get, then go to the, um, um, lounge. That's, wait, Freeze, I mean, um, Penguin has a place taken over and he's got, and he's got you locked out. Take out all of his generators, go inside. What's that? He's got police officers in there. Shit, I gotta get them too. Okay, who's, okay, what's next? Yeah. Um, stuff like, and after that, you finally take him on, and after that, you take on Solomon Grundy. Yeah, it's just, it's a lot of shit. Dun, 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 dun. Talking about ghosts. <laughs> Talking about killing ghosts. Ghost dusters. Eh, yeah, better than saying ghost Nappa. Shut up. What? Shut your whore mouth. <laughs> we don't not. We do not bring Nappa up. We don't talk about that thing. I like. Hey, I like that joke. Especially in like season two of DBZ of Bridge when he's tormenting Vegeta. No, I'm still I'm pissed off. Nappa made it into Fighter Z. Raditz didn't. Oh, now you can kill this thing. Basically, the items we collected were his possessions. Hmm. And it took away... Oh, by the way, he keeps silencing me. Fuck that shit. I know what that thing can do. Yeah. Hey, at least he, that just means he's a smart villain. Well, that move right there silences. Oh. And this boss is really dangerous because, as you can see, it's spawning enemies, and it just spawned when that explodes. Quick question. Do you still gain experience points from these enemies? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. So this is a, so for this one, it'd be, more of a high, it'd be like a high-risk, high-reward situation where you can let him spawn in a bunch of enemies, but at the same time, you also risk him spawning in more of those assholes. Uh, yeah. Like, that almost, I'm just high enough that they can't insta-kill me, but they can bring me really low. Yeah. But, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that you can just use this as a uh, farm spot. But I. It's not worth it. Because at my level, they don't give enough EXP to be worth it. Because I still don't have the. Uh, there's a couple rings. There's a wedding ring. And a power ring. That give triple EXP. No, no, no. Only the wedding ring gives triple experience. It's similar to, um... The Ring of Barda and, um... Symphony of the Night, which boosts up all your stats exponentially. It is yeah. honestly... If you somehow manage to lose with the Ring of Barda equipped... What the fuck are you doing? Unless you're, unless you're like me and decide to try and stomp on Dracula during the final battle. Which it took me two tries to actually do. I literally just jumped on him like he was a fucking Goomba over and over again. Yeah. And then we freed his spirit, by the way. And then he's uh talking about how he regrets his actions and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And now <laughs> she's going to stay here till the day she dies, soothing his soul. I have no joke for that. That's actually kind of a... I see. Well, it's like legitimate no. and it's heartfelt. Uh -huh. Because this game has such good lore to it. It's just such a good story. Because it's not, like, cartoony. It's it's real. It's like The Secret of Nen. If you've ever seen that. Yes, I have. It's, like, a very compelling story hidden behind a cartoon appearance. Like, I even think this was uh, inspired by The Secret of Nen. I actually do. I, the moment you said that, it kind of reminded me of this one thing saying, remind me how like 80s movies and stuff like that were a lot more serious than our shit is nowadays, a good bit. And I remember that there was this one um, thing the soundtrack had joked about at the beginning of his movie when he did um, 
labyrinth like shortly after Dave Boyd passed now that he said the 80s making the other generations look like pussy sit forever oh yeah fucking even uh uh what's it called what it called what is it called uh Beetlejuice Beetlejuice was fucking dark as shit and it was a comedy like really Remember RoboCop. Remember RoboCop is isn't RoboCop an '80s hero, basically, an '80s movie. '80s or '70s, somewhere. Maybe it might be late. It might be really early '90s at the latest. Oh, that's his mom. Have you ever seen the honest trailer for RoboCop? No, I've not. They made a joke about him being kind of an allegory for Jesus. And that he said the only difference is this Jesus who's rapist in the dick, and at that it shows him shooting the guy who's about to kill the girl right in the dick. Yeah. I'm just like, okay, I get behind this. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm behind that. It's kind of... I don't know. I see 80 stars and, like, modern-day stuff is kind of iffy for me. Especially, um... In WWE 2K15, you can play as Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator. That's the only reason I actually want to get that game. But, as far as it goes, like, in, in all legitimacy... I fucked that pronunciation up hard. I'm tired. Wow. This game has such a good story. Like, pick it back up, dude. Like, we're skipping a lot of it because we, we got to make it We can't hear for one, we can't hear it. Yeah, we can't hear it, so we can't truly commentate on it. And also, the fucking screen that it's showing us is so tiny, I can barely read it. And I have glasses on. Like, I think it could honestly fit in one of my, in my like, um, smaller tablet I used to have back at the beginning of high school. That screen probably could. Yeah, it's, like, tiny. It's literally, like, smaller than my laptop screen. Like, I'm, like, legitimately, I think it is. Yeah, it, it is. It's smaller than my laptop. So, we can, and especially how far away from the screen we are, we can barely read it. And we can't hear any audio from it at all. And we're at the end of the episode. Hmm. Yeah, we're at the end of the recording. So, uh, on that note, like, subscribe, all that jazz, uh... We're very close to the end, so get it over with. Subscribe, all that stuff, comment, let us know. You got anything to say? Nah, I'm good on this one. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll catch you in the next one, and we'll be get to see which... Uh, I think I go defense. I think I go defense. And you got a, you got a text message. Yeah. And uh, see you in the next one. That's about it, guys. Just killing this last few seconds before it cuts off. And I saved! Yay! More power leveling. <laughs>